Hi, this is Ollie from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play. Today's record is The Six Man Dara Man, the Bionic Berserker from 1976. So let's see what this sounds like. centrifuge while it was still spinning. Uh, nobody's ever done that before, Colonel. Uh, how, uh, what? No food. Come on in, Steve. Hi, Oscar. Got a problem? Lots of people have got a problem this time, Steve. Know that portable nuclear generator our boys at Tech have been working on? The one small enough to be carried in a van, you mean? Well, this isn't going to be a secret for long, but a group of terrorists have hijacked it in transit to the Cape, and they've threatened to hold it for ransom. Thank God, Oscar. Those can cause a radiation leak without knowing it. Went by a few square miles. That's the basic idea. They want to evacuate some populated area and then sit on the thing. Steve, I'd like you to find it. But finding a piece of machinery that could be anywhere between Washington and Florida is a nearly impossible job, even for this bionic man who drives his car now in the direction of his home as... Who's that in my back seat? What are you? It's me, Colonel Austin. Who? Toby? Toby Banner? You're the kid whose knee was being operated on the hospital after my accident. The accident that made you bionic. Made me? What does that, what does that mean, Toby? I've known about it all along, Colonel. I recognized you when they brought you in. You had no arms at all. I figured out what they did to you from talking to you and all those doctors. I saw them bring it in your new leg one day. I'm not surprised you figure all that out, Toby. When I was talking to the hospital about my moonwalk, you seemed to know more about the geology of the moon than a lot of space scientists have. But that doesn't explain why you're hiding in the backseat of my car. I came here to ask you to get your doctor friends to make me bionic. Why on earth would you want to do something like that? Ever since my operation, the kids have been making fun of me because I limp, can't run as fast as they can. They don't let me play baseball or anything with them. Look, Toby, it's no big privilege to be paid. Quiet a sec. This is a news bulletin from the WGBS radio newsroom. A tape-recorded press release has just been delivered to this station, as well as several others in the city, from an unidentified group who claim to have kidnapped an experimental nuclear reactor. Holy hell! The terrorists claim it is hidden somewhere in the Wilton district, and that the area should be evacuated immediately. Wilton? What's wrong there? Here is part of the tape we received. If $10 million in gold bullion is not delivered by jet to a ship 200 miles due east of Washington, we are going to overload the reactor and flush fallout into the atmosphere that won't disappear for years. All right, Toby, looks like we continue our discussion at another time. I've got something to do. No, let me help. I know where to hide anything in Wilton. I can help you find... All right, Toby, here's where you get it. And in the depressed district of the city known as Wilton, the streets are a shambles with a hurriedly organized evacuation. Hey, you can't drive into this area. Oh, Colonel Austin, we were told you would be here. Anyone have any leads as to where they've stashed the reactor? No one's even thought about it yet. It's all we can do here to keep a stampede from development on the neighborhood. I guess that's my job. your reactor in a few square miles. How do you find a guitar string in a van of spaghetti? Hold it. I see something. Or someone. That man over there with a metal tag on his shirt. It's the kind of identification tag used in nuclear research facilities. You forgot to take it off. Now I tell my careless friend. The man enters a ramshackle warehouse in a part of the district that already appears completely evacuated. About time you got back. What does it look like out there? Everyone is terrified that if the government does not accede to our demands, people whose homes are here will riot across the city. It was a master stroke to bring the reactor here. How is the machine, Dr. Weber? The steel walls of this old truck are keeping any radiation leaks under control, but there are parts where radiation may help rust eat through. I worry 
that he's been worried about something or other since we ended up on this enterprise. Why could we not find a nuclear expert who... What's that? Door. Someone is... The game's up, fellas. Two police units are on the way here. I know you're unarmed except for that machine. How, how did you break the bolt that door? Well, no, I picked the lock. Now the three of you... Oh. He jerked his arm around up the hole in the wall. Slammed his body into that big storage tank. Damn it! What's he doing? Once a week, you see. As the terrorists file meekly off with the police, a team of technicians is dispatched to retrieve the lost nuclear reactor. Well, Toby, you still want to be bionic? You bet. I saw where you mopped up those guys. If I could do that, there wouldn't be a kid in town could make Toby, me... Toby, Toby, listen to me. What you saw in there was a man being forced to go berserk because there are parts of his body he wasn't born with that went out of control. Only your quick thinking and nerve made it possible for my not being like that still. Understand what I'm saying? I guess so, but... What I'm saying is maybe you're worth a lot more than six million dollars. The way you are. So that was the six man Dara man. The Buying Berserker for 1976. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.